the Frank Lloyd Wright building is the most valuable work of art in the Guggenheim collection. So we have a, a sort of a unique charge in that regard. I, I look at these shows as they proceed one after the other over the years as new ways of looking at the building. And I'm looking for the views that are compelling, that have particular works of art perhaps that we wish to highlight, or that show the relationship of the art to the Frank Lloyd Wright building. This aspect of my job is a true privilege. It's a unique thing. A little closer to the art, please. I'm David Heald. I'm the uh, Director of Photographic Services and Chief Photographer for the Guggenheim. I just entered my 39th year, having started in 1981, and um, I'm still very pleased to be here in this extraordinary institution. That seem about right? Uh. You see where you're at here. It's more like about, framed about like yeah. that, right? So, you know, it's, it's a matter of listening in a way. Listening to the building, listening to the light, and to the, the show that's in front of me. The sweet spot is, is the human dimension. And when the image is compelling, it comes from, from somebody actually being engaged with what's in front of them. I took a one-day photography workshop with a Life magazine photographer. His name was John Mealy. And he showed me how to develop black and white film. Then I had the great good fortune to travel with my family to India. And on the way to India, we stopped in Japan for two weeks, and I bought my first camera in Tokyo. And as we traveled the world, I began photographing. And then I went to college, where I met a man who taught a creative photography class. His name was Nicholas Lebetsy, and he happened to be the chief photographer at the Cleveland Museum of Art. When I graduated, he offered me a position in the darkroom in the photography studio at the Cleveland Museum. And that was where I learned the craft of photographing art objects. And then in 1981, I came to the Guggenheim after being offered the job, and I was there, I think, for my second interview, I walked down the ramp with my boss. Would you like to do it? The answer is yes, I would love to come and work at the Guggenheim. And it was, I think it was an Arshal Gorky retrospective. And we got to the bottom and I, and I turned to him and I said, I think this is gonna be really good. <laughs> I just, it was the building itself was just compelling, you know. I'd been in the Guggenheim before, but I kind of saw it for the first time. And it took a long time to really sort of understand the exquisite nature of this structure. I still feel like I'm discovering it. Jan Vo is a really interesting example because he himself was ultra sensitive to that building and had the insight to say, take the skylight mask off and let the light in, you know? And you can see the way that, that light, that late afternoon light is falling. And this is up near the top ramp. But then suddenly I began to see from a little further away the curve of the ramp there. I kind of opened to that. Again, same light. And then I went up to the top ramp and looked down on it. So I went all around. And I was trying different lenses, of course, because focal length makes a big difference in your composition. What is it that when you're trying to extract some, some sort of essential aspect of your subject, do you go close, I mean, in a portrait, or do you show the environment? I mean, do you show relationships, or is there something that's so compelling about being close? That, and that's true with a building, too. It's a portrait, in a way. And then I finally came to this from below, and it just sort of like, oh, my goodness. You know, look at that. After all these years, you know, suddenly this view was there that, that I'd never seen before. You know, that's, that's exactly the point, in a way try to go each day as if it was new because it is you know 
And the beauty of this building, I've come to think of it itself, the building itself is like a lens that is showing me all sorts of things if I'm willing to look. But the, the exquisite things come from when it's new, when, when I'm new enough to be open to what's actually there, you know? Images are just extraordinary when they, when they sing. Over the years, I've realized how privileged I've been to have this extraordinary subject matter. Who photographed something for almost 40 years? Who would do that, such a thing? 40 years and still find new things, still find things that you hadn't seen, approaches to it that you hadn't tried. It's, it's like the gift that keeps on giving. I just happen to be in love with this exquisite piece of architecture. That's it.